Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero. We are back again talking about Blood Roof number one pre-order collection launching today on Halloween, and it looks absolutely amazing. Written by the Sasuke sisters, the same people who wrote Yaira, and penciled by Michael Montanet, Montanet, I think that's his name. He was a fan art contest winner for the Ripperverse, and it's awesome to see that Eric hires people who are in, in passionate about art and drawing art for the Ripperverse. So now we're just Looking at it right here, it's at 3,423 books sold, 192,000 in sales, so it's ever inching closer to 200,000 in sales and 3,500 books sold. Now it's interesting that it blew up past this crap right here. This thing has been up for four months since June, by the way. We're going into November, and it's hilarious to see a washed up common pro again, absolutely destroyed by the newbie in the indie space the one that he is very envious and jealous of now we do have a blood root number one launch trailer that i have not yet watched so we're gonna go look into that and i'm gonna give my reaction to this trailer let's get into it know they are not to be killed anyone who harmed the damned would be punished seven times over the damned were hidden from God's presence I'm really interested to know who's doing the voice acting for blood Ruth because this is great and this penciling here looks awesome and forced to live out their lives carrying out the punishment of their cursed bloodline the sin pumped through the veins of one descendant to the next. All bore the same mark. I know that my family carries a cursed bloodline. All right, so it looks like we're going to learn about the entire family family of blood roofs, roofs in this book here. That's, of course, Sydney right there in this her family. I'm assuming this is her dad. She has probably a brother, maybe another sister, or maybe another brother, or maybe another brother and mother. We were made to face the damned. Our blood makes us special. Our bloodline attracts the damned. Looks cool. So they have like a like a mixture of the comic art with some live action stuff, you know. It's all about the wolves. You can see the comic art here and then an actual wolf on this side. Bloodline attracts the damned and gives us the power to fight them. The hunt continues for the one that got away, but my mission beckons me forth. This feeling I have is getting worse. Something pulls me west. I must find out why. I am the last one of us left. The blood of my family runs through my veins, and no one can take that away from me. I am not alone. I am their hope. I promise you. She's got a dragon. <laughs> no matter what, come hell or high water or actual hell itself. I am through with running. Flora's Park had better be ready for me. Nice, we even got some animation. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, so it looks, it looks like for this campaign, we got some new shirts. We got, of course, four covers. And it looks like we're getting a beanie and... Brand shaker and a plushie those are new products coming from the riververse that's awesome 
This is the, uh, I know this one over here is the Halloween one. I did pick this one up. And the other poster looks absolutely awesome. I think all the covers look great. I did pick up cover A. Cover C, I'll definitely have to be picking that one up because that is the foil and embossed cover. And I did pick up this red shirt. Yep, and there is, of course, a black and white special edition. Only costing you 15 bucks. See, that's absolutely fantastic. That, again, Eric listens to the fans and gives them what they want. So you have, of course, four covers here. Obviously, the cover D is the mass print cover. That's going to be 25. The other two covers, A and B, are 29. And then the foil and embossed is, of course, 30. I mean, not 30, 50. Obviously, Kane and White did cover A. We all know that. But then you have other stuff like your CGCs. Now, this would be a CGC I would get. If there was going to be any CGC I would get, it would be this one. Me personally. You have Bride Blood Ruth. You have the Red Blood Ruth 2024. That's the one I picked up. Again, the limited edition foil stamp ends tomorrow. So I'm assuming that they'll still be available tomorrow, but then it'll be gone on the, on the 2nd of November. You have another poster. You have the first ever Ripperverse plushie. That's really cool. Not really my thing, but for anyone who is a plushie fan, there you go. Beanie. Now this this was an interesting one and of course they come out also with the deck number three for the doku man card and of course they have the old school blood roof poster which i did pick up during the five dollar sale you can get all the books together all the cgc's your catch-up packs like they did with alpha core you know the first appearance pack i should say a shirt pack your merch pack so on and so on there's so many different options of packs you can pick from so get in on the ones you want to get in on. Me personally, I did get the Halloween poster, Blood Roof cover A, and I did get the Blood Roof 2024 shirt, and of course the Ripper Z number two, because I did just sign up for the membership. So I was able to, of course, redeem my creator's edition of ISOM number one. But of course you have individuals right down here looking for that attention. Holy crap, looking for that attention. Man, man, man. It's so funny when people like are always trying to judge your money. It's hilarious to me. Like I don't need to get every single thing. This doesn't make me a brokey. Considering that you clowns were crying about $35 comics when I saw number one came out. Y'all are the ones that are really the brokeys considering that apparently $35 breaks your bank. Could I afford more? Yes, I absolutely could buy as much as I feel like it, but it's weird, again, that you losers are pocket-watching when you clowns, again, like I already said, were crying about the comics being $35, and you even have attention people like this individual here talking about Black Girl Magic, the thing that comes from a flop from Marvel called The Marvels, but it's interesting that you're using it here where this will actually make profit unlike the Marvels that absolutely lost money and flopped at the box office. But that's very interesting how these individuals are so concerned with what other adults spend their money on. I still don't understand this, this concept of you pocket watching other adults and trying to say, I can't afford more. I absolutely could. It's hilarious that you would even suggest that, but I don't need to get all the covers. I really don't. I could absolutely afford every single thing there. I just don't care. I've never actually bought any CGC stuff for any campaigns, which, again, with as much as these guys pocket watch my pockets, I've never bought a single CGC from the Ripperverse because it's not my thing. I'm not a CGC person. I buy the comics to read them. It's there for people who are collectors, and I'm happy that people get the option to spend their money on that type of item for me personally that's not my thing but you have clowns of course talking about i thought you backed collections um i did back a collection you're just a moron like always i've never bought an i i bought an i wanted all for yaira i really liked yaira i wanted everything alpha i don't even think i i didn't buy the i wanted all for alpha core and for the yaira one i didn't buy the one again with the cgc again 
why are you guys so worried about my pockets when you guys are broke as heck and you can't even afford $35 comics? You're crying about $35 comics, but for some reason I'm the one that's broke? Okay, sure. I'm pretty sure I make more money than all you clowns anyway. But again, money is not really something I flex because there's no reason to do so. That's a waste of time and a waste of my breath. It's hilarious. That... And by the way, this clown doesn't understand that it was $80 because I have the membership, so the membership gives me a discount, you idiot. Like, are you really that dumb? And I literally just said, I just got the membership, which I paid again for the highest tier. So I technically spend over a hundred with this. So, and this Ultra Mac cover, from what I've seen, the creator's edition of Isom number one, sells more than every other CG book on the aftermarket. So please cope and seed more and cry about it some more. Because that's all you guys really know how to do is cry about me on a consistent basis. Like this clown over here talking about, can someone explain to people that making fun of EVS doesn't matter to us? It absolutely does matter to you because you consistently are on in my comment section, in my live streams, always crying and complaining and whining to me about me making fun of you. But this doesn't matter to me. Take it out with me. I mean, I'm not, you're, you're making fun, apparently... Apparently, according to you, you're making fun of me. Meanwhile, I don't really care. I said you can't really, quote-unquote, make fun of someone that doesn't actually care. The more you use the name, the more you look retarded. It's actually a compliment considering it's based on the fact that I have an awesome beard and look like a biker. I make money off of making fun of you clowns on a monthly basis. You versus me, we are not the same. I, like, I don't understand why these guys are always having the need to talk about me in the first place. I can at least talk about other things. I don't have to talk about any of this stuff. I do because that's what people subscribe to my channel for, but I don't have to to get views. I do this. I, I talk about this stuff. I get views. I can talk about other topics. I get views. It's interesting that they always ignore the fact that I, I can talk about other topics and get more views on those than these because okay, these people actually believe that I need them to survive on YouTube. It's a very interesting thing when... All these guys can do is talk about other people when I can talk about other things, even things that I like and I can get views on them. Like I got more views on my four minute video talking about the Tomb Raider remaster come on out, coming out the new one. And I got more views than any of the other videos I posted during my vacation. So, I mean, what are we talking about here? And now my Power World video, one of my Power World videos, my first ever Power World video that I put out talking about the lawsuit, or maybe it's the second one is the most viewed video on my channel. It has nothing to do with any of this stuff. So at the end of the day, I literally can talk about other things and be just fine. So thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, and returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit the like button, comment below your about this, subscribe for more content, hit the bell for notifications, set the bell to all that we will get a notification anytime I post a new video or go live on this channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.